Yesterday, some close-up shots of Zachary Levi in his Shazam outfit dropped. These were leaks too, but these are better quality leaks. Better than the previous ones we were getting before, or at least closer up. Um, the previous pictures that were taken were shot of him, shots of him from farther away. You couldn't really make out the details of him or the suit itself that much. But now we have some better ones. They're from this guy's Instagram account. And he's been leaking them. I don't know if he's the one who took the pictures or if someone took them and he just put them on his Instagram account. But they were all over Twitter yesterday. And I saved some and I'm going to show them to you. And when you see the, the costume up closer, I do think it does look a lot better, as I was saying. And, you know, it does confirm to me that people are just way too quick to judge these days. That's my opinion, though. Take a look at the pictures and see what you think. I'm going to go over them with you. Okay, the pictures were apparently on this guy's website, Sean's Movies on Instagram. But, you know, people were reposting them on Twitter like all day yesterday or at least early in the morning. And, you know, I say some of these tweets and put them up in messages so I can just pull them up here. So let's just go picture by picture. The ones that I found. I think these are all of them, but I don't know. I might have missed some. Right there he is. There is Zachary Levi closer up in his Shazam outfit. It's very bright, isn't it? And what's the one thing people are like criticize DC movies about a lot? They're too dark or the costumes aren't bright and colorful enough. Here we have a superhero in a very colorful costume and people are still nitpicking over that. Come on, people. He looks good. He does look very buff. A lot buffer than he did in those other pictures. Now, I don't know if those are fake muscles. You know, they built the muscles in the suit or if that's actually Zachary Levi. It's hard to tell. But he does look very buffed up and he does look very Shazammy. <laughs> Shazammy. I made a new word. All right, here's, you know, closer up shots of him from a different angle, looking very Shazammy again. I think it's still that same scene, you know, with him and the police in the bus where he's fighting Dr. Shivana. I did a video about that, I think, yesterday. That was a set leak video where the two of them were actually fighting. That was a scene. And here, I think this is from that same scene. I think in this picture on the uh, right, he has like... A bloody nose or something probably maybe from his fight with dr savannah or something else that happens to him and here on the left he's bending over and you know the bright white the bright yellow of his lightning bolt symbol is very prominent i bet that they'll have that glowing or whatever in post and visual effects it's probably not going to be static they might have it emanating with light like magical light just a hunch i don't know if that's going to come true this one is freddie freeman the guy from It, I forgot his name. He's playing Freddie Freeman, who's Billy Batson's, one of Billy Batson's buddies and, you know, foster kid siblings, who also in the comics winds up getting powers later. He was originally Captain Marvel Jr. in um, the original, like, old pre-New new, pre -new 52 comics, but when they did the New 52 change, you know, he doesn't have the Captain Marvel Jr. codename anymore. He's just Freddie with powers. And he's blind in the comics, but they now he looks like this. And he's wearing a Superman TV shirt, a Superman shirt, which a lot of people were saying confirms that the Shazam movie is going to take place in the DC universe proper, movie universe proper. There are people who thought that Shazam was going to take place in a separate continuity away from like Wonder Woman and The Flash and Batman v Superman. I don't know why people believe that because I never got that impression. I think someone said like a comment in an interview and there were journalists and people who ran with that and took it way out of context and more literally than it was intended. But, you know, he has the Superman symbol. So there's a Superman in this universe, and I'll bet it's the same Superman that Henry Cavill's playing. This one shows Dr. Savannah, played by Mark Strong. And if you look, something's wrong with his one of his eyes. And that means that they're going to do the New 52 version of Dr. Savannah. Because in the New 52 version, Dr. Savannah, his eye is messed up. He goes to find magic to save his family, or so he says. And he goes to Black Adam's tomb to get the, the magical power. And he says, I think, the word Shazam. Dr. Savannah does, but it hits him with a lightning bolt. I think that's what happened. And it messes him up. He's able to see magic after he's hit with the lightning bolt, but he doesn't get any powers. And since he's a regular human, the magic starts to cause his body to deteriorate and he's going to die or something bad's going to happen to him eventually. So it doesn't turn, it do, so it doesn't work out well for him in the comics. In the movie, they might do some kind of version of that. I don't know. But if you look right here, there's something wrong with his eye, and there was still something, just like there was in the comics. That, that's what makes me think that they're going to follow some you know, aspect of that storyline for the movie. 
Dr. Savannah appears to be choking him, choking the life out of him or something like that. So I imagine the magic is going to make Dr. Savannah, magical power is going to make Dr. Savannah souped up where he's actually physically strong enough to actually be able to, you know, engage someone with Shazam, you know, physically. Because Shazam has super strength and Dr. Savannah is a regular person. So he's got to be on something, so to speak, <laughs> in order for him to like fight somebody like that. Right here, there's actually like textures on the sleeving and stuff. So I don't know if that's just the material they want to look like that, or maybe having the costume with that material, you know, makes they'll be able to do more with it in post. Because if you zoom in, you can see the textures. Like, you know, there's seams and things like that. I'm not, I don't really know much about fabric and, you know, clothing terminology, but, you know, there's seams and things, accents, I guess you call them, in the material. So I don't know if that's just what they want to do, if there's a store, there's a reason for that, like logically, maybe the post-production people, the editors will be able to do something with that. I don't know, they're VFX people, but you know, you can see it a lot closer up and he does look a lot buffer here, but again, I don't know if those are really his muscles or if those are built into the suit, but it does look a lot better when you see it up close and with better, you know, higher res pictures. And again, I think a lot of people are hypocritical for, for, well, some are for criticizing this because this is a bright, colorful, you know, outfit. And, you know, the one thing that they're always criticizing DC for, like I said, is their, you know, their costumes aren't bright and colorful enough. You know, like in BVS, you know, people were saying that Wonder Woman's outfit wasn't, you know, bright and shiny enough. And I think even in the Wonder Woman movie, some people criticized it for that. I don't remember. I remember I saw Wonder Woman. I thought her costume was colorful enough. But anyways, this is super colorful and now people are going to be trashing that. It's like they, it's like DC can't win for anything, huh, with some people. They just want to be nitpicky. But I think that from what I saw online, the reaction to this costume now, it did get better from a lot of people. I don't know if maybe I was just seeing like certain people, but I, from what I saw, there were more people who were a lot more um, positive about the costume at this point than they were before. And I think this is good. You know, next we'll probably, I, don't, I, would be, I wouldn't be surprised if DC leaked these on purpose for this reason to try to get people to come around. I don't know. I mean, I'm making an assumption here, but you know, not all these leaks are actually really leaks. So I, I'm pretty sure pr soon we'll get like an official photo. I mean, I would think we kind of would kind of have to after this with all of the Photoshop and stuff, the snazziness to make it even more spectacular to hopefully, you know, shut people up <laughs> once and for all. We'll see, though. I could be wrong. Maybe we're not going to get an official photo until they release a teaser or a trailer. Maybe at WonderCon or CinemaCon, they're going to get something ready to wow us with a cool teaser or trailer and release some stuff that way. And then once people can actually see the costume in actual motion, you know, filmed and edited and stuff, maybe that will be what shuts people up if they make it look really good in a teaser or trailer. Because they're filming it now, so if they start editing something between now and whenever they release it soon enough, maybe it'll be ready in time. But anyways, that's my DC and Shazam movie update for the day. I appreciate your viewership. If you like this video, please like the video on face oh, on YouTube and subscribe to the channel because I appreciate doing this for you. And of course, I will be making more videos about DC and comic book movie awesomeness as I always do. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.